Chennai Metro Success The Billion Dollar Secret Behind the Scenes Welcome to Chennai, a city once known for traffic congestion, auto rickshaw chaos and overloaded buses. But today there's a quiet revolution rumbling beneath the surface, literally, the Chennai Metro. What was once dismissed as a political gimmick or a vanity project is now transforming the very DNA of this bustling metropolis. The Chennai Metro is no longer just a transport system, it's become a symbol of efficiency, planning and a shining example of public infrastructure done right. But behind this massive success lies a story that is barely told. A story of visionaries, silent struggles, complex land politics and brilliant engineering feats. This isn't just about trains, it's about the billion dollar secret behind Chennai's metro success. How did Chennai, often overshadowed by cities like Delhi and Mumbai, pull off one of the most efficient metro systems in India? This is not just a documentary. It's a deep dive into the behind-the-scenes decisions, unknown heroes, financial models, planning secrets, and engineering marvels that built a legacy for generations. Stay with us as we uncover the Chennai metro story from idea to impact. The idea of a metro in Chennai was first floated as far back as the 1980s, but like many Indian urban dreams, it remained on paper. Why? Funding problems, lack of political will and skepticism. In 2003, the then DMK government initiated a feasibility study. But it was only in 2007 that the project started gaining traction under the leadership of then Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi. The initial plan was simple, decongest Chennai, make commuting efficient and future-proof the city's growing population. A partnership was struck between the government of India and the government of Tamil Nadu, forming the Chennai Metro Rail Limited CMRL. Unlike other metros that were entirely funded by the central government or with international aid, Chennai Metro was envisioned as a joint venture, giving the state significant say in operations and planning. This decision would later become a turning point in the project's success. A metro isn't cheap. The initial estimated cost of Phase 1, just 45 km mil, was over Rs. 14,600 crore. Where would the money come from? Here's where the billion-dollar masterstroke happened. The Japanese government, through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, came on board with soft loans. 59% of the funding came from JICA at a mere 1. 5% interest rate, repayable over 30 years. No international agency had invested in Chennai this way before, but that wasn't all. The state government pushed for timely dispersal and transparency in spending, something rarely seen in Indian infrastructure projects. What made Chennai Metro's funding model unique? Soft loans instead of market borrowings. Shared governance with both state and central inputs. Zero political interference in tendering and contracting. International oversight and compliance standards. Even during the economic slowdowns or political transitions in Tamil Nadu, the project was never stalled for funding. That stability became the backbone of Chennai Metro's success. Building a metro in a city like Chennai is not easy. With its sandy soil, high groundwater level, narrow roads and dense population, it's an engineer's nightmare. But CMRL pulled it off. And how? They introduced tunnel boring machines, TBMs, imported from Germany and China. For the first time in India, metro tunnels were built below buildings that were over a century old and no damage was reported. Key engineering milestones Tunneling below the Coombe River without disrupting surface traffic Building elevated corridors over one of India's busiest highways, the 100 feet road. Installing India's first platform screen doors for underground safety. Designing multimodal integration with bus depots and suburban trains. This wasn't just building a metro, it was laying the groundwork for Chennai's future mobility. If you've ever ridden the Chennai metro, you know it feels different, cleaner, safer, quieter, almost like being in a metro abroad. Why? Because Chennai metro was designed with commuter dignity in mind. Features that stand out. 100% air-conditioned trains even during test runs. Dedicated elevators and ramps for the elderly and differently abled. Real-time train updates via mobile apps and display systems. Women-led staff teams and dedicated compartments for female safety. Moreover, CMRL ensured stations were art-filled, well-lit and welcoming. The branding was consistent. No ugly political hoardings. No illegal stalls. A rare sight in any Indian public facility. This wasn't just infrastructure, it was culture shift. Behind every station, every tunnel, every smooth ride are thousands of silent heroes. 
CMRL hired and trained hundreds of local youth. Many of them were first-time urban workers. The Metro 